So as I'm sure you're aware, there are some challenges to doing exterior real estate photography that are often underestimated. A lot of times we think of the challenges being inside the house, and they are, but there's a lot of challenges outside as well, especially if you're up against, for instance, backlit houses, or you're asked to do a twilight shoot and you're just not getting those really high impact images, or you're being requested to do a data dusk edit, and you might not know how, or if you're outsourcing it, you're not really getting realistic results. There are a lot of challenges out there, and I've been doing this for a long time. As you know, I've shot literally thousands of homes. I've worked with hundreds of clients. I've seen just about everything there is when it comes to something real estate photography-wise, and I used to bang my head against a wall too, but luckily, of course, as you know, I share that information here. I share it in my books, and also now I have a third online course that I wanted to announce today, and it's on doing pro exterior photography, and for right now, I do have a a limited time special for a discount using a code that you can find down in the description for this video, also with the expiration date and the link to look at this. Now, this particular course is, once again, the third course in this real estate photography online course series. It does come with raw files like my other courses, and this one has 25 individual lessons. If you, though, get everything combined with interiors and expert editing, you're taking a look at almost 90 lessons in total to learn everything from top to bottom to do pro real estate photography. But in this particular course, in the pro exterior course, this is where I teach you then how to do those highly impactful twilight shots, how to do good data dusks. I don't care what time of day it is, there are tricks to doing it so that you can get highly impactful images, how you can also re place grass for concept images, something that some agents will want, commercial builders will want. Also, how do you stage items when it comes to the outside? And if you've ever used the sky swap tool in Photoshop, you know that can be cumbersome when you're up against power lines. How do you get those power lines to still show up when you're doing sky swaps? These are things that I show in my course as well as on especially stormy days you're doing a sky swap. How do you enhance the ground? How do you enhance the entire picture overall? So this is why so many things are underestimated when it comes to exterior photography, because we think of, well, I could just go outside and it's just like shooting a landscape picture. True to some degree, but that also depends on one, the gear that you're using, something else that I cover inside the course, something that you can do on selecting the right type of lens, right type of camera, which is going to be different in some cases than what you were doing for interior photography. But some of the other things that aren't talked about that often, there are things like color profiles and optimizers. And did you know you can also make your own color profiles inside your camera? And using the right software, you can get excellent results. I'm not talking about just using Lightroom Classic. I'm not talking about just using Photoshop. If you do the proper workflows, you can get highly impactful images with high color accuracy and true representation. So that's why I put this particular pro exterior course together. Yes, there's a tough nut to crack when it comes to doing interiors, and I've got a course on that, and the editing portion of it to learn Photoshop, to learn Lightroom Classic, to learn all the various workflows for editing all kinds of stuff. Yes, I've got the expert editing course. And now with this pro exterior course, then you can feel comfortable when you're up against just about any challenge you could imagine when you're shooting something outside. So once again, link to all that is down in the description for this video, as well as a discount coupon right now that you can use. And if you do have any questions about this course, you wanna see more, one, you can go to the courses page and it does have a full curriculum. So you can go through all the various lessons and like with my other courses, there's also a free introductory video that you can watch so you can get an idea how the course is put together and what you would be learning. And as always, if you have any questions about this course, you can contact me directly, or you can also leave a comment below. And thank you for taking the time to actually watch this, and I hope that you benefit from this new course in my course series, and that this can help you further your career as a real estate photographer.